Hello, my name is Rod Shaw. I work for Mool Valley District Council. My area of responsibility is the conservation of the built environment, uh, conservation of uh, countryside and landscape. Uh, and a few years ago, I was approached by a number of residents living in the Leatherhead area who wanted to take part in a, a national uh, initiative being promoted by central government. And this was called Heritage Open Days. Back then, there were about six events organised over a weekend. Um, but today, uh, Heritage Open Days has grown hugely. Within Mole Valley, there are about 70 to 80 events organised every year. Uh, nationally, it has also grown hugely with about 5,500 events across England, um, generating about a million plus visitors. Access is free to anyone who wants to enjoy the events. The idea really is to encourage people to appreciate and find enjoyment and pleasure in the heritage on their own doorstep. Um, the original concept was one of encouraging people to have free access to properties that weren't normally open to the public. It also uh, incorporates nowadays exhibitions, guided walks and all other activities related to uh, the heritage, culture, architecture, uh, landscape, countryside. Today's events cover not just Leatherhead, but a whole uh, host of places throughout the length and, and breadth of Mould Valley, the rural areas, the villages, as well as the towns and the countryside. We have a local committee of volunteers uh, from various walks of life in Mould Valley who help with the task of organising and bringing together the programme for Heritage Open Days every year. Um, this year, of course, is going to be different. Um, preparations for Heritage Open Days under the theme of hidden nature, hidden treasures, began in March, but then had to be suspended because of the, the uh, restrictions of lockdown. And it's only been very recently that Heritage Open Days nationally has decided that it will go ahead with a programme of events between the 11th and the 20th of September. So the race is on to bring together a, a programme of events and we're inviting anyone who would like to take part, anyone who's got a story to tell about the district, about um, uh, properties or places that have a, a special story, a special history or architectural interest uh, and also because of the theme of hidden nature and hidden treasures to, to look at the countryside and some of the corners of the countryside or places of the landscape that people may not be familiar with or the stories behind which they may not be familiar. Um, we hope that uh, because of the limitations that many of our events will move online and that our, our event organisers will be creative about how they present this. Um, we hope that the online events will be a new departure for us and will bring new opportunities to present the story of Mole Valley to a wider audience, not just people within the district itself, but all over the country. So look out for information about the programme of events as it unfolds over the next few weeks. We'll be using social media and other forms of communication to tell you about it. And if you'd like to take part yourself, uh, then please get in touch with me, Rod Shaw at Mole Valley District Council, and I'll tell you how to register and how to take part. So we'll keep you abreast of, of the programme as it develops. Uh, so that's all from me for now.